Hi, I'm Rebecca. Before Jesus, I considered myself the spiritual person. I knew there was a God, an entity above me. I thought that, but I definitely wouldn't have considered myself a Christian. For the last seven years, I have moved around a lot, looking for a better job, a better life, just a purpose. So as far as my lifestyle went, I did party a lot. I went out and I was always searching for something that would make me happy, whether that meant making new friends or getting drunk or meeting a guy. I thought that all of those things would make me happy, especially the guy part, especially in the later part of my 20s when all of my friends were settling down and I wasn't settling down yet because I didn't know because I had no purpose, because <laughs> I didn't even know wh what I wanted to do or where I wanted to settle down or who I wanted to settle down with. So I kept going out, searching for it, hoping that I would find somebody who would help me find that purpose and that I could settle down with. So the last place that I moved was San Antonio, um, but that was to get to California. I was in Starbucks looking for a job in California when this guy behind me asked me, hey, are you looking for a job? And I was like, why are you creeping my laptop, man? It was Pastor Alex. And so I started telling him, yeah, you know, I, I came out here, I live with some friends, but it's temporary and I'm trying to get to the next stop. But I'm a spiritual person, so I know that everything will work out. And he said, oh, well, if that's what you believe and you have that relationship with Jesus and you feel that that relationship is reciprocated, then I hope it does work out for you. But in case it doesn't and you're here for a little bit longer, my name is Alex and I am a pastor at a church across the street and I would love for you to come. So I went to Mission Church that Sunday. I walked into Mission and immediately Kristen at the t-shirt stand started talking to me she sat with me she invited me to lunch and I didn't even know her and then she invited me to community group the community group um, <laughs> everybody was so cool everybody had tattoos and piercings but they were so nice before I know it I'm just having all these conversations with just some really nice people with no agenda just hanging out and everybody invited me back I started learning about Jesus and this was more than just spirituality. This was a person who died for me and who forgave me for all of those things that I did. And they were pretty bad, but he forgave me and it's okay. And he loves me and I love him. The first six months I cried like this, like all the time. <laughs> I just cried because Jesus the Lord was just, stripping it away. All of those moves, all of those bars, all of those men and empty promises, he was just stripping that down. He was just taking that off of me. I would be lying if I sat here and said it's easy, that it's you can just stop doing that. When I think about like in a metaphor of my walk with Christ, it's like a baby giraffe <laughs> who like is born and kind of like stumbles and has to stand back up and like the mama draft like with the neck like nudges him up and that's how I still feel that God is for me now like just nudging me along and helping me and now I have this relationship with Jesus I talk to him I joined a Bible study so I could even learn even more I got baptized <laughs> on Valentine's Day <laughs> um, because to me I have never made any full commitment to a person a man ever and here I got to do that to show my love to this to Jesus my heart was filled with joy that day and it still is people say it's like you have this glow and it is it's like I I do I have this glow I'm in love with this person who I know is in love with me <laughs> I know that for a fact and that is the best feeling that is the best feeling and that trumps everything and I think that everybody should feel that. I really do. So this is my story of life with Jesus. 
And my story isn't over. It is just beginning.